it's another beautiful morning in the Walmart parking lot and I received a few big items in my UPS mailbox. First up, this Max Fan Deluxe Roof Vent. Got the model with the manual lift knob, 10 speed fan, forward and reverse on there. I already got started yesterday. I made up a wooden frame for the inside. I didn't even mean to do this. Somehow I managed to line up my cooktop right between these two support beams. Sometimes you don't have to plan stuff, it just plans itself out for you. So not only am I the Jackson Pollock of van building, I'm also the Mr. Magoo. But I'm going to meet up with uh, Martin this morning. He's going to help me install this. It's good to have an extra set of hands when you're doing this. Uh, he's building out a Nissan NV200, so maybe we can check that out as well. And I also received my 250 amp Mechman alternator, so I got a lot of work ahead of myself in this video. This is Martin. Hey. Oh, <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> he's got a van life channel, too. He just started up. Geomega van life, check it out. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to drill a hole up through here so I can get a rough idea up top and we'll do all the measuring from there. <laughs> I'll be uh, traveling to the farmer's market and selling my putty work. Hey. Well, the roof vent's working pretty good. I don't know what else to say about that. It uh, it sucks in a good way. I might have to install a side ladder so I can climb up there and brush the snow off it when I need to. But I like how it's got the see-through lid on there. I got a skylight now as well. But last night in the dark, I just did a rush job and hooked up the fuse panel so it's all wired up. I gotta move on to the alternator install now. I'm already all dirty because I was crawling around underneath the van trying to find the engine block, the chassis ground. I gotta do the big three wiring upgrade. So I'm gonna have to measure out all the wiring I need and uh, head over to Princess Auto and get some one hot gauge for that. But I'm still waiting for the fuse to come. It could be another three to four days so I can't really finish up the install until I have that. So I gotta add a bigger wire from the positive terminal way back there to the alternator and then a shorter cable from the negative terminal to the body then there's a long cable that goes down to the bottom of the engine block so I got to do that plus the shorter strap that connects onto the chassis so I got all the wiring measured out then I talked to the guy at Mechman, Tony, he's super helpful he said that one odd gauge would be overkill for my setup that I should just use a two gauge so that's what I bought, saved myself a bunch of money uh, plus I'm going to leave all the factory wiring intact so I should be pretty safe with that. I just got to wait for the copper terminals and the fuse to arrive so that's about as far as I can take it right now. 
And as for the wood stove idea, I think I'm giving up on that. What might actually be better is a Dickinson P9000 propane heater. Uh, it looks the same. It's a fireplace with flames, uh, but you don't have to deal with firewood or ashes or any of the mess. Plus, uh, the heat is directed. It doesn't give any heat off the sides. It just has a blower on the front, so you can have a fridge right beside it, and it won't heat it up at all. But that's something that's like way off in the distant future. I just uh, got to work on the fridge first. Come on, look. As I keep building more stuff, I'm losing my workshop area at the back. It's getting more and more difficult as the days go by. my kitchen it's changed a bit I, uh, I'm trying to order up a custom cutting board that'll go all the way across here and cover this up I just put in a drawer here to fill in the space I don't know maybe I can like get a platform on here so I can eat off it or use my laptop on it figure that out later and I just got some open storage there and I'm trying to finish up my fridge platform today it's gonna go like right here and I'm gonna put two big drawers in there and I hope once I have those installed, I'll be able to get most of my stuff out of that storage locker. And the bike still fits in at the back with the wheels off. If it doesn't, I guess I'll have to sleep with it. But then the crockpot might be jealous. Job's done. gigantic drawers to fill in now. I'm gonna run by my storage locker and see how much stuff I can squeeze in here. That roof vent is really working great. It uh, really pulls a lot of air. When I got one of these windows cracked I can uh, feel a breeze come in so it's great when I'm using the saw to exhaust out all that dust and when I'm painting I don't feel quite as zonked out as before as well. But yeah I think I can also probably order a foam mattress at this point. I didn't want to do it before because it takes up so much of my construction space. But things are moving forward, we're getting there. clothing in here. All right, I can finally change the pair of underwear that I've been wearing for the last month. <laughs> Is he joking? Yes or no? Look at this. Little did you know Forrest De Forrest used to uh, be an artist. I drew that by hand, believe it or not. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Oh, here's a Here's a historic shirt. Looks like something spilled. Of course. Soup. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I glued this shut. So all these drawers are now officially full to the brim and we still haven't matched the same amount of storage space as what the minivan had. I think I'm going to swing back by the storage locker and just weigh in on how much more stuff I have, how much more building I need to do in order to move out of there completely. Um, as for the alternator install, I wanted to do it in this video, but I'm still waiting on parts to arrive, so I'll have to wait uh, for the next video on that one. I think up next, I want to get some curtains behind the front seats there to get some privacy. As for all the rear windows, I'm thinking like a thick quilted material that's insulated that I can roll up when I don't want to use it. Uh, I don't want to permanently block out any more of the windows. And I'm still waiting on ordering the fridge. It's going to go right here. It's a, it's a really expensive purchase. Those uh, 12 volt fridges don't come cheap. So I've been kind of procrastinating on pulling the trigger on that, but I'll have to do it eventually. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you're uh, enjoying this parking lot build series. 
and I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching. Thank you to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.